Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, it's Sophia here at Boris Crafts. Um, today we are making this card, which might look a bit complicated, but trust me it really is not. Um, so it's just pretty simple card as always, I love a bit of simple stamping. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So as always you will need a piece of Whisper White, a piece of cardstock coloured card this is magenta madness it is a new in colour and then you need a piece of thick whisper white card which is just cut in half and scored in half for our card base so i'll just put that out of the way for the moment so we're going to be doing this kind of crisscross design um now this is using a background stamp it's not on a straight from this is where is this from this is from tasteful touches which i've done a lot of um cards with this um it's just a very versatile stamp set it's really nice for just doing all sorts with it's got two kind of backgroundy stamps with it this one is using this one today and then we're using a um sentiment from love and thanks to a dear friend which is the from the Paris Peony set, which if you've seen my unboxing video, you will know this is what I've been waiting for. This was waited for for a long time. I love it. I've used it quite a lot. I haven't videoed anything that I've used it, but um, yeah, there is gonna there is a live over on my Facebook page, which actually shows me using this um, on a one sheet wonder, which is. A concept that was in, um, has been created by um, Artful Stamping, um, which is Ruth Trice. Um, she is on this um, on YouTube as Artful Stamping. She's amazing. She does lives all the time with um, doing a um, One Sheet Wonder, she stamps it all herself. Um, there are different variations of One Sheet Wonders, um, but this, she's just does, and it's amazing. It's absolutely incredible. Um, so yeah, I've took an inspiration from her and done a Facebook Live. So I will link my Facebook in the description below for you to go check it out. It should, the live should still stay on that as a um, ability to we watch so yeah let's get started on this card today so i'm gonna bring in a piece of spare um just because i am going to be stamping off a little bit not much um so for this i did use a uh, smoker slate um just because i wanted that kind of walkway brick effect um, which was kind of the vibe I was getting from this. So just stump it up. So I did kind of try to sort of match these in a little bit. Um, not massively. I didn't kind of feel there was much need for it. But you can quite easily stamp them through so we're just kind of going in diagonal line from one corner to another sorry if you can see my head it doesn't matter if they go over it a little bit That was lucky. <laughs> Look where it landed. I don't know if you can see that you guys can see that. Um but it landed like right there. The mini heart attack then. Just a mini one. And then two. There we go. I'm gonna put one down here as well. There we go. I'm happy with that. So we're just going to put the smoky slate away, which I 
I'm just having trouble with them. <laughs> um, and then for the sentiment, you just need um, magenta madness and a piece of scrap whisper white, which I did have here somewhere. Um, it's fine. I'll just get another one. I can't reach it. <laughs> so move that one out of the way. Look at that, guys. It's beautiful, this colour. It's, it's just lovely. So we're just going to stick that on a piece of wisp white. Let's move that out of the way. Um, I'm going to do it down here. Just because of the punch I'm going to be using. Big gown. That went out first time. Um, so I'm using this punch. Um, I've used it quite a few times in the last couple of videos. Um, I still can't remember what it's called. I didn't have a look. So you just want to centre that as best you can. There we go. Done. Put that somewhere. I know it is. <laughs> right. So push that down. There we go. And then we also need some magenta madness. Um. What's this guy's called? What's this called? Ribbon. <laughs> So yeah, so we're just going to stick just a tail, not about that long. Just put that on there so we know we're getting the exact same. There we go. So, all we're going to do with this is... So we're going to get some dimensionals. Go one, two, and three. And now I'm just going to pair them back. So I'm just going to sort of stick these onto the back of here just so just like that put on like that don't worry if it's a little bit short we can sort that out after so we're gonna Sit that roughly in the middle. Sorry if my head is in the way, guys. Yeah, I do. And if you one's shorter than the other or longer or whatever, that's fine. So you can just snip it up a little bit. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect. That is basically the card is done. And then we'll just stick it on the back and stick it to the base. So a little bit of simple, you don't need a lot to make an effective card. I, I do say that a lot. Um, but I do truly believe that you don't need to do all sorts with it to make it effective. And it's nice, I think, when you do a couple of cards and they have, like, a little bit of a difference as well. So, look at our base. And uh, fold it in half. Just finish that fold. Where's the gun folder? And then... 
stick on the base. It's that simple, guys. So as I said, you don't need a lot. You just need one or two stamp sets, even just really one. Um, a couple of colours, a neutral colour, and a pack of card white cardstock and coloured cardstock. And that's it. Done. So, let's make it look pretty for the final shot, shall we? <laughs> so, there you guys go. Two cards using new in colour magenta madness. It's beautiful. I really like that. I think it's good so if you guys like the uh, video please give it a big thumbs up and also uh, if not already please do subscribe and hit that bell button and you'll be notified every time i go live um so yeah enjoy the rest of your day guys not when i go live when i put up a video i mean enjoy the rest of your day go check out my facebook live um i don't think i know a way of adding it over um, if I do, you might see it up on here later, but, or earlier, you never know. If not, go check it out. <laughs> Hope you guys have a lovely day. See you next time. Bye.